hi and welcome to our first look at Isles of Ethereum. Okay, extension streamers. You'll need to run OBS as administrator before streaming Isles of Ethereum. Please have it installed on an SSD and make sure you have it at least 16 gigs RAM. Okay, so clearly I'm not streaming this. Let's close that. I just want to go to the settings because it's on uh, a weird setting. That's better. that they put it on zero <laughs> okay the audio is perfect let's get into this i i've been dying to play this game this game is beautiful i am so happy i can actually show you this guy and that i this guy this game and uh, thank you to key mailer for giving me a key thank you to the devs appreciate it Pretty cute. Human. Elf. Dwarf. Is that a dwarf? No. Fairy. Oh, I want to be a fairy. I'm an angel. Wow, look at those wings. Demon. No, either a fairy or an angel. Let's go for an angel. I mean an angel in... Angels have the fastest health regen of any race. They take damage from swinging and critical damage from physical attacks while flying. Name your vessel. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. Ooh, wow. You can change it to any color. Hairstyle. I kind of like that hairstyle. It's weird. Of course, I like that one. Let's take that one. Why is it so dark? What does this outside ring do? Let's give it a pink tinge. Okay. It's a bit odd. But it works, I suppose. Skin color, let's go really white. Ish. So we can't change the eye or the wings. Interesting. I would have liked to be able to change the eyes and the wings. Okay, let's go for the Great stuff. Let's create a vessel. Into a world. That's pretty. It's pretty.
Our world was destroyed long ago, with the demise of the elemental god. The crystal that bound the elements together shattered, and the fragments scattered across the isles, infusing the land with elemental energy. The nine elements, fire, earth, wind, water, wood, lightning, crystal, demonic, and angelic, have been fighting for dominance ever since. Each seeks the remnants of the crystal shards to bolster its power and finally consume the other elements. Those who survive able to wield the power of the crystal shards, devise the plan to seek help from the beyond. By becoming a vessel, one could travel the isles, gather the shards, face the elemental demigods, and fuse the crystal back together, bringing peace to the isles once again. This is a little boat. The narrator. Okay. There we go. So the wings are a little bit see through. Hello there, chest. Bind to this crystal. Why if? Really, people. What the if? I suppose I can't rebind the bloody keys either. That's just so stupid. Star Sun, and I am in dire need of thine assistance. I am trapped within a magical crystal. The crystal is bound with powerful magic and can only be shattered by defeating two guardians keeping me sealed. If thou art successful, I shall grant thee immortality, a reward beyond compare. Yeah, why were you bound in this crystal? I was bound in this crystal by those who seek my powers. I was once the elemental god of this world, but that power was stolen from me. Yeah, who stole it? After I was defeated, I was sealed away in this crystal and I remained for over 10,000 years. The mortals that came to this world and fiery metal dragons, my body shattered into many fragments in the wake of their power. They split that power amongst the leaders of their people, each claiming an element as their own. But in time, my power drove them mad, and they destroyed the whole world in blind rage. Now they are but slaves to the same power that yearned they, they yearned to control. All warning, warring with each other to become the new elemental god. Few mistakes there. But a greater threat looms in the shadows, one we must be united to face, or all is truly lost. Oh dear. Tutorial. Let's do the tutorial. Spell weaving. On your hot bar there are two spells. One is boulder, a container magic spell, and the other is chain lightning, a projectile's magic spell. You can combine these two types of spell by first casting the container magic spell, pressing 1. Followed by the projectile magic spell, pressing 2. This will create a lightning boulder that will remove the barrier blocking your path. Got it. I think. Okay, 
Okay, so one, two. Sort. Environmental act. Casting spells or destroying elemental objects like trees, rocks, crystal, etc. will infuse the area surrounding those objects with the same elemental energy. This will grant monsters of that elemental type access to that area. For example, when you cast a fireball, the area it lands on becomes infused with elemental fire, which will attract lava blobs in the surrounding area of impact. Many spells, items, and monsters can alter the terrain. To use a pickaxe, press the I key to open your inventory. Then right click on the pickaxe icon to equip it. Once equipped, you can switch between the pickaxe and your weapon using the caps lock key. Got it. Switch between mining and weapon. Press caps to switch between mining and your weapon. Okay. It's not working. to equip it first in the slot. Now I can cool. now I can switch between them. A healer. Um, I'm eager to refill with a substantial lunch. Yeah me too. Me too. Welcome traveler, looking for a swift journey across the skies. For just 100 gold, you can secure a ticket to board a magnific magnificent airship. The safest way to reach the elemental town of Zephyria, where the wind dances through the crystal spires. Are you interested? No, I'm not. Thank you. Just wanted to see what this is. Oh, wow. What are these? Oh, I guess this. I think the ghouls found something interesting out there. Yes, I am finding interesting stuff out here. Stick to the rules. See for that way. Old man kills spiders or destroys spider eggs. Somewhere I went wrong. So I have no 
not find the spruce. I don't like when it changes my camera like that. Town portal. This is a time crystal. When you die, you will respawn at the closest one to your death location. Interact with the crystal by pressing the F key to learn the spell time portal. The spell will summon a crystal that can teleport you from the current location to the town crystal and back again. You got it. I need to go find the spiders first. I think I went to. Sometimes I like to sit on the dock and. Be careful. Hello. I think the spooder is on here somewhere in the darkness. And I meant to kill them with. Your secrets are safe with me. I stopped listening five minutes ago. Here to break from healing the sick and injured and nourish my body with a nutritious meal. But where are the spooders? What is that? Sick years. Maybe I should use a boulder and open that area. Yeah, maybe that's what I need. Fly away. I have no idea how to get in there. But 
But how the heck do I get to the spritters? I mean, this is the old mine, but I mean, there's gears there that I should be able to get to, but I'm, I, I don't see a way. Where's the way? Okay, there's nothing like right there. Okay, so that's a town portal. That's pretty cool. I'm already getting lost. Hey, I'm lost. Do we have a map? Must be another way to get to those gears. It's a lava boulder. I don't see um, lava blobs though. I mean, we, we, oh, we can't get in here. There we go. Crystal shards are usually protected by a barrier. To deactivate the barrier, you need to find a switch. These are normally located near the location of the crystal shard. Just said if. Yeah. We're leveled up. To upgrade your skill points, press I to open your character window and click the plus sign next to the Attributes you want to improve. It also, you your spell by pressing the L key. Click on the spell you want to upgrade. 
upgrade and then selecting one of the upgrades to allocate the points. You got it. through the hole, honestly. And here I'm struggling, throwing every spell at it. I still don't know where the spiders are. I've not seen spiders anywhere. Kill spiders or destroy spider eggs. And I, I don't see any way that I can go. Maybe it's through there. Activate shrine. Rest. It's summer. Nice. Oh, so we have storage. Wow, that's a lot of storage. Okay, but let's go back to town. as much as I like flying, I know I want to know how to control it. Ah, oh, N is the map. That's so weird. What is it with the... So you can put markers as well. Every town is based on a specific element, and a version of Fae can be found in each giving you a quest to find shards in that area. What are you? Fae stars on the Shrine Keeper. We meet again, Willow. I need your aid in retrieving the crystal that hold my power. Tell me. Be a not brave adventurer, for I shall aid thee in thy quest. Some of the fragments may be hidden in secret chambers underground, and thou may require a mining pick or earth magic to reach them for some areas of no entrance. No. I shall teach thee the spell Crystal Resonator. If a fragment is nearby, it shall respond to thy spell and reveal its location. Okay, 
is 135 meters that way. I think the stories about the fishmen are true. So if you destroy something, then... Uh... Ha! No idea. Oh, I have wings. Never mind. <laughs> it's like, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here. I wish I could just hold the mouse button in and, and dip, but it doesn't work that way. It's a little weird that you can see outside. Like I'm making any progress. Sometimes I like to sit on the dock and watch the tide. The pirates have become a serious problem. Good day. Mm, I don't feel like I'm in the right place. Guarantee you won't get a better price anywhere around. Yeah, I don't understand this. Know any good shanties? I do not. Yeah, 
See if I can go if I go down destroy cages do not care kill terror plugs oh. go down here and see if this is not close if I go down So we can open the wall. Ha! Ha! So this is the one we already found. Pull it again. Get ready. Yeah. So that was ice. Interesting. Q, are you kidding me? F, E, and Q is not an easy combination to press. What the hell? Safe travels, though. Okay, but I've already completed. Dangerous Ugh, crystal spiders. Really? Make use of the spell crystal resonate to guide thee to the shop. The journey ahead shall be perilous, but the reward for thy success shall be great. Be sure thou collecteth 
brings us one step closer to unlocking the full power of the crystal. Okay. Just look at the moon. Good day. It still says it's here. I'm a sister of the second circle, granted the power of crystal recovery. I can assist you should you need healing on your journey for a price. A thousand gold? No thanks. No price. We tried the new ale they're selling in town. With the singing of the how do I get there? Good morning. Good morning. I was spiritly. If these go down, let's see. Better not be a pirate. I'm sure I like that. A dragon, fine day, isn't it? It sure is. Hey, yeah, uh, oh, there's another spirit here. Can harvest it multiple times. I wonder if this goes up and down. Is that what this You're is? Looking to buy. Uh, I don't know how much gold I've got. So uh, oh, look at that. Oh, this is pretty. Kind of reminds me of uh, some other game I used to play. Found it quite difficult. I do want to give that game another chance. Um, so now what? Did it just leave without me? How much gold do I have? 
Where do I see that? 1,900. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to play this dude again. Yeah, that's just stealing my money. This guy is just robbing me blind. Well, the traveling system does not work. When you die, you will lose 20% of your current gold. Oh my word, that sucks. Teleported away to the nearest respawn crystal. The area where you died will be marked by an orange light color. Upon returning to the place where you died, you can recover most of your lost gold. Most of it. Still not all of it. are broken it seems. Prismatic return, a ray shimmering essence, the guild's coveted treasure. Venture into the heart of the Kaleidoscope Islands, where colors dance in harmony. Among the prismatic hues, discover the brains of prismatic Rotoron. Guarded by spectral guardians, extract the essence, but be mindful of the ever-shifting spectrum. Return with the prismatic glow intact, and the alchemist will unlock its radiant secrets. Navigate the hues with care, and may your vision pierce the prismatic veil. Courageous Miner. Okay. I don't feel very courageous at the moment. I feel very lost.
I think I should be here, but anyways, let's go see if I uh, get some of my monies back. get it. I've got wings that I cannot fly with. But I can use a glider to go up and down. And so this is where the prismatic hues are. I wish it would tell me where my death marker is. Like, show me how far away I died. Losing 20% of your money is a lot. It's a lot, a lot. Especially if you have no idea where the hell you are. to get back to where you lost your money in the first place.
so that makes no noise. That's what I'm seeing. Oh, that's where I died. So we got the shard now. see what that is. The big water wheel. This place is ginormous. That's a hippogriff. I don't want to go near the hippogriff. Is it coming for me? Looks like it. Oh, that looks cool. Looks like a little pool. This place is beautiful. I don't have a clue where I'm going now. This is a pirate ship. This is nice. I like it. Hello there. My morning routine includes gathering some fantastic plants at sunrise before going to the bush shop. Good to know. I'm hitching a ride on the ship. Let's see if it actually moves while I'm on it. Say the same thing. Seems like we're going very slowly. Do you think these boats are a little bit broken? No idea where we're going. Let's see what that is. That's a pipe. Another ship. I'm 
gonna go into the pipe. Let's see if I can land here. Don't know if I want to land here. Pretty butterflies. <laughs> gotcha. Smacked it with a boulder. idea where I died. Um, somewhere. No, no, no. I don't like that I don't know where I died. Must have been here somewhere. to go now because finding the spiders is insanely difficult kind of goes from super easy to insane I do like the game though. Needs a bit of work. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna have no money left. <laughs> like very soon. We meet again. I'll need your aid. Okay. Didn't exactly want another quest. Okay. Leave me alone. Just died by the Drakes. It's kind of a little too big, this world. And I don't exactly know where the heck to go. But I do enjoy flying. I always enjoy flying. But it would have been nice to go progressively more difficult. 
not stupid easy and then insane. That's a bit weird. There's a way back at the old mine. Eh? Oh no, what the heck? I'm in a water bubble. And I can fly. That was interesting. Let's see if I can hitch a ride on one of these boats, actually. Or if it's just gonna stand still. It is moving. It's a beautiful game. It needs a lot of work. And I, I really wish it was a little bit more aggressive. where I'm going to leave this episode. Really enjoyable game, needs a lot of work, in my opinion. Um, some of the stuff is a little off. And finding your way around is extremely difficult. I really wish there was a marker, like a death marker, to show where you're well, you lost your money. Because that kind of sucks. How much money did I lost now? A lot. What is that? Demonic vampires of the sword. I can't wear this. So I'm not a demon. Iron bars. 
Yeah, it's a bit directionless. Um, I would have liked it to le be a little bit more linear, waist-wise. Definitely progressively more difficult, not instant from easy to insane. That That's a bit rough. And linear in, in the way that you go from, from learning one thing to the next thing to the next thing. Otherwise you get lost in the game, which is, I'm, I'm a little lost in this game, as lovely as it is. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I might uh, play this some more and figure out how everything works. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it as well. There's a link in the description below if you want to go check it out. Put it in your wish list. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.